everybody, welcome back to another summer of our Summer Reading Club programming. It is so, so good to be back. Um, for anybody that's new, welcome, welcome, thank you for tuning in. And for anybody that's returning from last summer's videos, welcome back. It's good to see you all again. Well, see you, of course, difficult through a camera, I know. But know that I'm here with you and excited to be bringing you guys back with some more craft and steam videos this summer. But for anybody that hasn't met me, hi, my name is Tristan and I am one of the three Summer Reading Club programmers that are working here at the Cameras Public Library this summer and we're extremely excited to be bringing you back some more fun and exciting programs that'll hopefully get us excited about doing crafts, doing steam activities, reading lots, and just getting outside and enjoying ourselves a little bit. So I guess first and foremost, the structure of our videos this summer will be a little bit different. We are going to be having our weekly craft and steam activities, which is wonderful, but look out for two new craft videos on Monday and one new steam activity on Tuesdays. Now I know this is only three new ones per week compared to the five to seven that we had last time, but we can also go out in the community a little bit more this summer, which is fantastic, both through the book bike at local parks here in Camrose, or we can also offer some more programs that are here at the library. So we're super, super excited for that. But first and foremost, to get started, this week is Mystery Week. Now, what does that mean? It means our two craft and one STEAM activities will be kind of surrounding the mystery theme, if you will. So working with mysteries, detectives, stuff like that. So we're gonna be starting with Invisible Ink today, woohoo! And as you can see, it definitely lives up to its name, right? <laughs> It's invisible, but not only will we be learning how to make the invisible ink, we will be learning how to make a reagent, as we call it, that helps us see the invisible ink. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Now, what will you need for today's craft? Well, you will need some water. Any water will do. Hot, cold. I'd probably recommend cold with how warm it is outside, but yeah, any water will work. Now, you will also need your measuring utensils. First and foremost, you need a half cup and we'll be using that for the water. You will need one teaspoon here, so the tiny one. We'll be using that for one of our ingredients. And let me find it here. You will need one tablespoon, so the bigger guy, just like that. Also, you will want to grab whatever you're going to be drawing on today, whether that be paper, canvas, cardstock. I'm just using some regular paper here. We have tons of it at the library, so that's what I'll be using for today's craft. And you will also want to grab, I would recommend grabbing a towel of any sort, something that you can put on the table where you're working so you don't stain it. Now that'll become important later. Okay, I would also recommend grabbing some cups, something that you can put your mixtures into. You'll need two of them, one for a reagent and one for actual invisible ink. And for the ingredients themselves, of course, as I mentioned, you'll need the water, baking soda, and you can find this just about anywhere at the grocery store. Mom or dad will probably have it at home, and we use it for baking, which is nice and easy. Also, rubbing alcohol, often used for first aid. I'm sure mom and dad will have some lying around the house. If not, grocery store is super easy to pick up. And <laughs> our turmeric. Now, what is turmeric? It is a spice used in a lot of Indian, Southeast Asian, and Middle Eastern cooking. And as well, it's used in a lot of different curries. Really, really good, really, really yummy. But the thing to keep in mind here is, as you can see, it's super bright, right? And that means it leaves just as bright of a stain everywhere. So that's why we're gonna have our towel. And that's why I'd recommend probably not wearing white. So please wish me luck today so I don't stain my shirt. <laughs> But that'll be everything, now we can finally get started. Super excited. So, if you would like, grab your first cup. And what you'll wanna do is grab your half cup here, your measuring spoon. And we're gonna put half a cup of water in there. Measure it out. Doesn't have to be perfect, approximate's okay. And hopefully I don't spill everywhere. And just in the cup, just like that, as you see here. Now, to make this invisible ink, what we'll need to do is add in some baking soda. And you'll need one tablespoon of baking soda. And let's see, hopefully we have enough, just like that. Pop it in, and we'll need a little bit more. 
There we go. Now, once your baking soda is in, mix, 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 mix. You can use your finger if you want. I'd probably recommend using paintbrush, spoon, anything works. Mix, mix, mix. And just like that, you'll see it becomes this cloudy mixture. Yeah, perfect. Now, this is what we're gonna be using for our invisible ink. So grab whatever you're going to be drawing, painting on, making a design on, whichever. And you're just going to want to grab your invisible ink. If you have a paintbrush, this is when the towel also comes in handy, you can dip. But because the actual bristle, so the paintbrush itself is so absorbent, it will have too much of our invisible ink on it. So what you'll wanna do is with your towel, just do one dab, two dabs on each side, and then you can start writing on it. Just like that. And as you can see, lives up to its name. It is invisible, but you can see here, kind of on the edge, I wrote summer for summer reading club programming, of course. But you can draw whatever you'd like, make a smiley face, star, designs, write your favorite book quote, <laughs> whatever you'd like to do. And then again, if you put on more, just remember two dabs from our paintbrush here. And this is a perfect example if you don't dab it first. If you see here, nice big dot. So just like that, our invisible ink won't be invisible. You can see it right through the paper because it's bled through. So be very, very careful there. But once you have finished making your design, what you'll want to do is put it off to the side for 15 minutes to dry. And yeah, can be anything. I did summer reading club programming and a smiley face down here. So I'm gonna put it off to the side for 15 minutes to dry. Now, what is our next step? We are going to be making our reagent. Now, what is a reagent, I wonder? Well, it is a science term that we use to basically say it is something that, when mixed with something else, causes a chemical reaction, which is really cool. So, in this case, what's gonna happen is with our invisible ink right here, we are going to be mixing it with our reagent. And you can see it is invisible, but when mixed with the reagent, it reacts chemically, and our invisible ink turns bright orange, just like this. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So, what do you need to make your reagent? Well, grab your water, and just like before, you're gonna grab a half a cup. And just like that, put it in a cup, a separate cup from your invisible ink. There we go. And it's a little yellow, I know that's because I used this for turmeric before on my first design. But there we go. Now, this is when we grab our turmeric, be very careful, watch out, everybody wearing white shirts and an apron would probably be a good idea or having your towel on the desk that you're working on. But you will need one teaspoon, so the smaller one, of our turmeric here like that measure it out and pop it in our water and just like before you're gonna to want to mix 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 until it makes this bright colored mixture here there we go and this is our reagent this is what we're gonna be using and putting on our invisible ink to highlight it so you can actually see it now, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet since mine has dried, but we're gonna try it, see if it works, and hope for the best. So, you'll just wanna grab a little bit, just a little dab, make sure there's not too much, and then lightly rub it over your design and your paper here. There we go. And we'll see if it'll show up. As you can see with mine, it is not quite showing up. And that's because I didn't wait the full 15 minutes for it to dry. But when you do, as you can see at the bottom here, you should be able to see what you have written, which is really cool. Now important, when you're putting down the reagent, it needs a little bit of time to dry and to fully react chemically with our invisible ink. So if it takes say three, four, five minutes, in order for you to be able to see your invisible ink, don't worry, that is perfectly, perfectly normal. If you can see here, mine is showing up a little bit on the previous one, just a little bit. 
if it catches the light the right way, but I didn't give it enough time to dry, so make sure you do that. But that'll be everything for today. Thank you very, very much, everybody. It's so good to see you all again. So good to be back for another summer. And yeah, look out for our weekly craft and STEAM activities. And look out for us in and around cameras throughout the community with our book fight. We're so excited to be back collaborating with all sorts of different organizations all over cameras. And yeah, just to be interacting with you all again. It's been a while. So I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, healthy, happy. And if it's still super, super warm by next week, hopefully, oh gosh, hopefully it'll be a lot cooler. And yeah, just take her easy, everybody, and have a fantastic week. Bye, everyone.